Welcome everybody to another Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars cast, I am your caster Anus Productions, and today our competitors for the day are going to be a Cyan Blue GDI, wait, well, it's Cyan GDI, and that is Shock Repet. and S. John is going to be in the form of a Green Nod, and we're playing on the map Tournament Rift today, um, and we see that both players are already going for infantry, which is quite normal amongst the PvP communities. As we can see, we've got a couple of Rafflemon squads going down the middle of the map. Uh, I think one squad should all, all, you know, just go down the middle of the map for the tip spikes. Very important in this map. Um, we see a, a couple militant squads. No, one militant squad down, looks like it's going down the bottom, but two going across the middle, so they're going to have a nice... Um, scouting uh, range over there, uh, they're going to be getting there, they're going to be seeing quite a lot, so we're seeing a lot of, inf uh, a lot of engineers being trained from Chotrapet's barracks, so we're going to probably be expecting some um, infantry rush, some like engineer rush or something like that maybe, um, because that one type of spike has been captured, but I think uh, um, Chotrapet may be trying to implant a an engineer into S. John's MTV, but we'll see what happens later on, but I think that's what he's doing at the moment. Rather than the squad, nicely taking out the middle of the squad, nicely just flanking them and um, getting rid of Eston's eyes, at least in this part of the area. And now they get to go and garrison that building just for some extra support. Already, Eston is already making his um, expansion, but wow, he's risking an emissary at the moment, so that's going to be quite uh, risky at the moment. Um, and his MCV is there. I thought it just disappeared. But yes, he's risking MCV. He's got a wolf factory out, however, and he's training. Uh, some harvesters and some uh, tier 1 units. First refinery goes up, so he's managing a gold economy, I must say. Um, but uh, as we can see, we've got a conflict over here. What would this be? Right, so it is an NPC. As we can see, it has got an engineer in it. So so he is actually going to try and capture the MCV, which is probably fair. Pardon me, but uh, I think he might be successful in this regard. Um, uh, hopefully, S. John would, be, would have kept a shredder turret. Yes, he has, so he might just be safe. Let's see what he does. So, You've he knows the that the APC is coming because he sees it. His, atta his attack bite goes to check, attack. and there's an attack over there. Oh, the APC comes to take the Tyrone Spag. That's actually moves. quite cheeky, so he's going to be getting Building. the majority of all the resources on the map. Very, very good. Must admit, I am impressed. Uh, good micromanagement coming from Shock Pet there, but uh, as we can see, we've got... Uh, oh, wow. Shocky has actually got all full tip spikes. That's going to be really boosting him up um, on that uh, economy over there. So I think uh, Shock Pat has got the uh, easy win as far as we can see because he's got the most resources. He's got the most ground as well. Um, but S. John is nicely, well, slowly reclaiming back his land, but not very well because there's only one attack bike. I mean, he's just been uh, gangbanged by three APCs over there. So that's going to be very problematic. He needs to get some shot. Not shot to pet. He needs to get some scorpion tanks out to hopefully deal with the APCs. Um, but he's just mostly focusing on economy, which I think he should stop now. There we go. First scorpion tank goes out. So now because he has a double war factory, I think he will be now be going for a scorpion attack. Um, we see some other scouting units from shot to pet. They're going to go up to the top of the map and uh, have a looky look. Um, that one scorpion makes an immediate bolt towards this top area of the map. Mil militant rocket squads get deployed. So that's going to be hopefully defending them off. But they made a quick switch over to this middle side of the map, so they're going to be going straight to the bottom. Um, those Scorpion tanks have to change direction right at this moment, um, because otherwise their economy is just his economy is just going to get just destroyed right now. Um, but the Scorpions actually maintaining a nice level of defense over here, forcing the Pitbulls to go back. So he may actually get a chance to build up his force a little bit more. Other Scorpions come back from the back. Let's see what uh, Shot is up to now, because I imagine. Oh, there goes the um, radar jammer as well. Um, Shot Repair is actually maintaining well with his unit production. He's, he's entire, pretty much moved his entire base towards the bottom time room field. So they're both both players are actually a little bit vulnerable um, on the top side of the spawning tip points. Um, but we see they've got a double barrack, so he might be going for a little bit of an infantry attack there with some extra vehicles as support, which is, as far as I've seen, is quite uh, normal for Shot Trapper. And I was like, wow, we've got quite a cluster of pit bulls over there. They're retreating down towards the middle of the map. Not sure what they're going to be used for, but I think they might have just tried to attempt to take out the harvesters, which is fair enough. But uh, I think S. John has got the necessary counter message to prevent that, at least for now. And we see that S. John has actually captured that type of spike, but. Unfortunately, Shot Repair has got three more tip Tyrone spikes he's using, so he's still getting the majority of all the economy. He needs to try and get some Black Hand to 
vanquish the uh, riflemen out of the structures and hopefully gain some a uh, little bit more economy. You see the uh, scorpion tanks nicely trying to uh, pin these pit bulls. Um, hopefully, just, just trying to destroy as many of them as they can. Um, and they're doing it nicely, nicely repelling them back to where they came from. And obviously, there's a conflict over here as well. Um, quite a lot of uh, infantry and EPCs are arriving in this area, so they're going to have having some trouble trying to keep them at bay. Um, lots of miniature attacks are on here. Some of the scouting force um, has just been destroyed over that top field, and the refinery has been destroyed for shock drop out by uh, Strong. Um, as we can see, I think uh, Children Play is actually dominating this top bit over here. Um, he may actually have the advantage because he's now going to be probably flanking the top position. But the Scorpion Tanks now making their move towards the top position um, are going to try and retaliate towards this humongous force. But to be honest, I don't really think that it's going to be enough. I mean, Children Play has already claimed um, the middle Tiberium field. So technically, he has three Tiberium fields at his disposal. So I think it's already a win for Shock Trapper because he's gone the majority of the economy and he's also got map control. Those are the two most important things that you can have. All these uh, Scorpion tanks, they, were, they might actually do a lot of damage to be honest. Oh, they are doing a lot of damage, running over those infantry, but I don't think they'll be doing enough damage to actually repel them completely. I mean, the uh, Predator tanks are getting damaged quite a bit there. One gets lost, two gets lost, while a lot more Scorpion tanks can die as well. Got avatars getting deployed from the uh, bottom two war factors over here. And we see that he's actually taken to tier three. So he may also want to get some vertical bombers. I'm not too sure, but the amount of rifle uh, missile squads that are there, I don't think he'd be able to actually use them effectively. Um, so what is he actually going to do? We've got some avatars there. Um, he's actually going to have to retract that one because he's already at half health. Can't let the enemy gain that husk. Oh, just scraping that. Damn, that was so close. Scorpion tanks trying to make an effort to uh, subdue these enemies, but they just keep coming. I mean, all these production structures are at this tip field, and this is producing so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now, because, you know, you've got a lot of e resources coming in. And now, Shot is making the move to just go and build inside S. John's base. Excuse me. Now that he knows he's vulnerable, he's going to try and. Uh, inflate himself in that position. So a few scorpion tanks are also being built here, but they, I don't think they're going to do much at this point. A lot of infantry swarming these avatars, and the avatars doing their best to take out the predator tanks, but I don't think they'll be very useful. Because of the amount of missile squads out there, you really need to get those scorpion tanks out as soon as possible, because yes, they are destroying the anti-infantry uh, structures, but they're very soon going to be able to penetrate through that, and those Scorpion Tanks need to actually make their move very soon, because otherwise their avatars going to be lost. And Shot Repair may actually get some additional fire support, um, which will be very unhelpful for us, John. And we see also, Shot Repair has also got Tier 3, as Juggernauts now pound the Earth with their very heavy artillery shells. Uh, we see that this space is actually pretty much gone. Um, a structure get, tries to get rebuilt. Uh, he's still trying in hopes to try and hold this position, but he needs to unpack that MCV. I would really recommend he did that because he at least wants to try and keep uh, a mobile construction vehicle alive. But those avatars, they can't really do anything. If they were able to sneak around and help probably get those juggernauts, they might actually help in trying to pin down this entire attack force. But uh, the Scorpion Town goes over there. A couple more juggernauts get deployed. I don't think S. John has the means to defend himself at this point because I don't think S. John has the. Um, equipment, all the resources. Um, as we can see, his, his MCV is unpacked now, so he's going to be making a run for it. Down to the bottom, playing the map. Oh, but nice attack coming from the avatars just there, taking out all the infantry and those uh, juggernauts, so he's nicely saved himself just about. Um, that MCV going straight to the middle Tiberium field, but we've got extra units coming from the top side of the map, so he's going to be having a bit more trouble with all that infantry. Avatar is making an immediate retreat, Predator Tank is coming in, and doing like a little bit of a pinch manoeuvre, um, but with that extra uh, ground control, he may be able to repel it, but uh, I don't know, it looks quite a bit tight at this moment, two Avatars already go down, there are quite a few Scorpion tanks go down as well. Um, in their best to crush the infantry, but those juggernauts are the ones that are really causing the most damage uh, because of their far away and they've got uh, protection because of all these frontline units get, having, you know, they're basically cannon fodder. And they, as we see the MCP now moves up, uh, and there we go, as Sean quits. I must admit that was actually a decent match. I, I, I am really uh, impressed, but Sean Kipet again wins with a superior. Uh, pushing tactic I'll call it because he's all about gaining uh, map control and resources every single game or at least very close to every single game I've seen with shot repair at the helm he's just been gaining the map the control over the map 
and the land and everything and the resources and just churning out those units all the time. It's worked pretty much all the time. Every single replay that I've casted has had that, so um, I suppose that is a good tactic, but as John did put up a good fight, he almost um, managed to free himself from Shock Trapper's grasp, but just because Shock Trapper got all of those Tyrannus spikes at the start, that messed everything up, and well, annihilated as John. But then, anyway, both players, nevertheless, played well. I really enjoyed casting this replay. Um, and thank you all for, for very much for watching this video. Um, if you've got any replays to suggest to me at all on game replays, then send them down in the comments below and I will have a look at them and cast them for you. Also, if you do send them down in the comments, I will also credit whoever has sent me the replay. So, without further ado, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.